Back now to the latest on what's happening in Egypt and the ongoing protests there, the rising death toll. Earlier today, I spoke to Dr. Abdul Magud Dardiri, a professor and former spokesman for President Mohamed Morsi, and I asked him what he has heard from his former Muslim Brotherhood colleagues about the violence on the ground there in Cairo. What took place last night is unprecedented violence against peaceful protesters. Uh, it is very tragic that the Egyptian army is killing the Egyptian people. First time in history, largest massacre in history taking place uh, now last night. Peaceful protesters uh, were uh, protesting the coup that took place in Egypt. Uh, and the army uh, uh, soldiers and the police soldiers opened fire at the peaceful protesters, killed more than 200, wounded about 5,000. It is very tragic. Uh, the people in the streets, the peaceful protesters, are uh, uh, likely to stay there until democracy is back in Egypt, until the legitimate uh, uh, institutions of the country are back, because uh, Egypt will not be able to afford uh, living under tyranny and dictatorship from the military or from the police state. Well, the government, of course, is pointing the finger at the pro Morsi supporters for inciting violence. What do you think is happening there? I mean, when you see kids are, are killed while they're 14 and 16 and 18, uh, but that, that, the tragedy is this uh, government is illegal government. It was appointed by the military. It does not represent the Egyptian people. And that is the issue in Egypt now, is the legitimacy of the government. The government has no legitimacy in Egypt. It was never elected by the people of Egypt. The elected government, unfortunately, was removed from office by the military coup. The president was removed. The constitution was suspended. An elected body is, is removed. Uh, that is the, the crux of the problem in Egypt. Egypt. And unless the legitimacy uh, of the president, of the constitution, and of the elected uh, parliament are back and people have their voices, people, I hear the young Egyptian yesterday saying, I went to the streets to protect my own voice. I gave my vote for a particular president. That president is not there anymore. I gave my vote for a particular constitution. That constitution is suspended. That is not acceptable. That should be condemned by the United States of America. America, it should be condemned by the so-called uh, civilized world. Anywhere, it is not acceptable that in 2013 we have coups, we have tyranny, we have oppression, especially after the great Egyptian revolution. Uh, but Dr. Dadiri, you see just as many people uh, protesting against uh, the Muslim Brotherhood and against Morsi. What do you say to those people? There is just as many people there as well. I say to them that it is the, the right, it, the protest in the streets of Egypt is the right of the Egyptians. The Egyptians gained that right after the Egyptian revolution. They have 100 percent the right, the same as any other Egyptian. Uh, it does not really matter whether they oppose Morsi or support Morsi. What matters is uh, Morsi was elected president. The only way to be able to remove him is through the ballot box, not through the street politics. Because the street politics, as we've seen now, more than 500 people got killed, more than 5,000 got uh, wounded, and all of them are Egyptians. To be able to avoid violence in the streets, democracy has to be back. Democracy results have to be respected. I support the right to protest to President Morsi. Uh, at the end of the day, they either elected him or did not elect him. They have the right to protest. But at the same time, how can we solve our problem in Egypt unless we go through the ballot box? It is the only way, it is the only recognized way in the civilized world to be able to solve political differences. You're tied to Mohammed Morsi and to the Muslim Brotherhood. Do you know how he's doing? Have you heard anything about how he's been doing since he's been detained? And what do you imagine that he's been thinking about uh, everything that's happening right now around him? Thank you for asking this question. Can you believe a president who was elected by the majority of the Egyptian people is removed from office? We don't know anything about his whereabouts. We don't know about his aides. Where, where are they? That is, not, that is not a civilized way of dealing with an Egyptian president who was elected. That is, uh, he's almost being punished. And punishing him is like punishing the Egyptian people. We really don't know. We don't know where he is, and I take this opportunity to ask the United Nations, to ask uh, all international organizations to, to tell us where the president is. 
And those who kidnapped the president did not just kidnap one person. They kidnapped all of Egypt. And those who did this should really be brought to justice. That is not acceptable. It should not be accepted by the United States of America. It should not be accepted by uh, European Union. I'm really happy that the African Union condemned the kidnapping of the president. Nigeria did not recognize the coup. No civilized country should really recognize the coup and those kidnappers who kidnapped the president of Egypt, who was democratically elected by the majority of the Egyptian people. All right, Dr. Dardieri, we appreciate your time. Thank you so much for your insight. Thank you for joining us from Minneapolis. Thank you, Elaine. Thank you for having me.